into basketball? No, no, the reason I say that is because I don't think your social, your like social media persona ties in with basketball because if it did, like it would be half guys who, you know, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like people follow you because people want to see what you do and yeah. you're a great guy outside the court and they just love your energy and whatever it might be. And to be honest with you, now that you say this about the social media, what I've noticed is that, and you know, Alex, you know, I have Alex, so Alex is like 2001 yeah. born and coming in and I, I would see his teammates, I would ask about like some other stuff and I would see like, what I would notice is that everybody has a brand now. Like they come out and they have a brand. Like they le le legit mm. have a brand and they will charge companies, which is great. Why it's great? Because they can take care of the family early and don't have a pressure of like this. But sometimes that pressure is good because yeah. you know you got, you got to take care of your family, gives you to the next, to the next phase, the next level. But at the same time, I feel like it used to be that you come into the league, you work hard, you play six, seven, eight years, and then that, that, that mark, you start building your brand and your team and your guys and who do you talk to and your alliances and et cetera. Now it's the other way around. Mm -hmm. Now it's like who I am and my brand and this and who's gonna, how we're gonna sell tickets. And, and I'm like, sell, sell tickets for, for like, you know, a guy who comes in, into the league? If you think like that, what do you, you, you think they're not gonna buy tickets for Kawhi or LeBron or <laughs> or AD or or Paul George? My guy, Paul, shout out to Paul, uh, Paul Caspi. I've been watching it, but amazing thing. Like whenever ever since he started, this is it's been great. Or like Joel Embiid, or they're gonna get. You think they're gonna buy tickets for you as a rook? No, but at the same time, I'm not saying don't 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 have this uh, false uh, kind of mindset of like, okay, I just gotta work. No. Take advantage of your brand, yeah. take a, but let the people around you, your team, take advantage of that, and you focus. Come, and you come in and, and do what in. you're supposed to do. Yeah. Well, that's I mean, that's another thing about improbable, though. I think it's interesting to you know, like learning like who who are the right people to say, yo, let us like let us help you with how you think about your brand. And yeah. Let us think through it while you focus on your craft for a yeah. minute. Now, I'm not saying you don't need to be aware. You no, got to be I aware. Do. It all depends, you know, I have I had this, I uh, have one of my guys, I don't want to say names, but I had this one guy, he was asking me like, T.A., you do all these things, and you got your ball guys, you, do the, you had a lot of the businesses, and, you, and you're and you there, you know, and uh, front and center and some stuff. And I said, brother, this is my 10th year being playing professionally. But he, they don't know, because mm. they just feel like they, that's just the, just the NBA. I was like, oh, six like years. Like you just got into the league or something. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, this is my 10th year playing professional, bro. I've, it's my 10th year. Professionally, I've, uh, I've, you know, we've we've gotten to the level to say, hey, this is what I do. But you can't go and, and try to keep up with guys who, are, you know, you just got in and you try to keep up with guys who are already yeah. ten years in, and and people around them know kind of what they do, and this is the guy, and this is what I get from him, and this. No, you gotta, you always gotta prove yourself, even for anybody. You see players now. You don't think uh, greats gotta prove themselves? Yeah. As long as they play, they do every day. Every day. So. To that, but the, the question the, the question is, is I want to hear from you as well. There's like because I've heard different different things and and I want you to tell me like, okay, you go to college and then you 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 had this accident, yeah, and and you know when I heard so I had heard the story before and the story I heard was like oh before he went to the NBA and then I was like but it doesn't make any sense how did he, did he and then he met, went to the NBA. Like, it doesn't make any sense. How, how, how's that possible? This guy, got drafted, he was big time. Like, rookie, the, he was all NBA rookie. I, am I right? It was yeah. NBA rookie. So I, like, I didn't win rookie of the year because, you know, there's a 7 6 person in that draft called Yao Ming, and kind of hard to beat that. <laughs> you know, 6 2. You, you, ain't, you ain't beating that team. But, okay, before we get to the accident, the accident and everything, you know, I always like about the positive stuff. The, the, the other stuff kind of mellow me down, and I'm like, I feel so sad. But what about your draft? Oh, are you uh, excited? Let me, let me you... tell you the story about the draft because my 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 dad is uh, my my dad is like you would think my dad was part of like the Black Panthers growing up like they're all like my dad's very pro black and things okay. like that so right so you know Bill Duffy was my agent I know you know who Bill Duffy is he's one of the biggest agents there's out he goes he's with W and me now William Morris and Endeavor okay um, and Duffy that year in oh, the draft I've had before, yeah. Yao Ming who was first he had me who was second and he had Drew Gooden who was fourth. My teammate went third, Mike Dunleavy, uh, in college. So we were two and three, and then oh Drew Gooden. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we had a squad in college. Okay. We had a squad. Mm -hmm. um, so Yao is coming over from, from, from China, right? And Yao's been working out in the Bay Area for like a month and a half, two months. Yao's mm -hmm. been working out like 
with brothers in the Bay. Okay. Okay. Like working out, getting tough, being physical. Right. Yes. So, you know, you know, I was like, you know, what do you do? T.A. When you walk up to somebody, I see you like, oh, what up T.A. Are you dabbing? Hey. You put the hand out, you know, yeah. you might snap the finger. You might do something different. Yeah. Right. So it does depend though. Yeah, what you saying? true. That's the band, though. True. You might give one of these. You might give one. Are you sure? <laughs> this is the band. Very true, right? Yeah. So that's my dad, though. My dad's like the corporate, nice to meet you, right? Like, all right, let me, especially if you don't know you, like, mm -hmm. nice to meet you. So we're me and Yao, I'm like, this is this is kind of cool. Like, I've never met somebody seven, six before. And also in the back of my mind, I'm like, I want to see if I can get them. I want to see if I can bang on them. Okay. Like, you know, you're always sizing, like me. Everybody. Because I, be, I wanted to be one bad, right? So I'm mm -hmm. like, out of all the years in the draft, God's gonna descend a seven six Chinese man upon me this year in the draft. So like I was wanted to meet him, right? So I'm meeting him in the Bay Area for the first time. My dad's there, and Yao goes, "Yo, what up, Jay?" And Yao brings me in with a dab. Like a, I'm like, "Oh, okay, what up, Yao? You, you been in the Bay Area? Okay, cool." Yeah. So I give him one of those, bring in a hug, and then uh, God, don't judge me. Enough. Then. Yao goes to my dad. My dad goes, yo, Yao, because he sees me do the dab, right? So then my dad goes to the dab. And it, like, I don't know if Yao doesn't know him, doesn't know that he's my dad. So Yao goes, yo, my ninja. Yo. Yo. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Yo, my ninja. And my dad goes. Hold up. Oh, Wait, you phrase again. Go Yao? Like this. Yao, what? Is that? To your dad, though? To my dad. To my dad, yo, my dad, <laughs> and my dad looks at him, and my dad's like, "What the fuck? What, what the fuck? You just call? What you just call me out?" Yeah, goes my ninja. Now he's not saying ninja. He's been well, in the bear. Oh yeah, but for you, some people need... may need this to interpret. Yeah, yeah, okay? yeah, yeah, yeah. And my, no. like, it was the most awkward silence in the history I think I've ever felt. But Yao had been around a lot of brothers in the Bay Area, so it was like he had just. But I'm like, how come you didn't say that to me? I said to my pops. Oh yeah, because he just, I think, <laughs> I think he, he does. He doesn't know your dad's name. Yeah, yeah, true, true. Doesn't know your true. dad's name. Hey, I'm, trying, I'm, trying hey. to say, I'm trying to save him. I'm trying to Are save him. Are you condoning him. this? Or you? No, I'm, I'm trying to save him. I'm not condoning nothing. Not, 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 on this, not on this podcast. But what I would say is, he didn't know his name. He didn't know his name, so, and okay. he, he just felt like it. But but I'd say I would say the same thing about Europeans. Some some Europeans is like I'm. Obviously, I don't, I've never heard that before, but, <laughs> but, but it, 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 I don't think he did that on per, no, no, definitely it wasn't, it, it was, no, was more of, right? yeah, it, he okay. was, you could, it was all from a place of love. It oh, was okay, just, okay, okay. as you can imagine, like, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't, my dad's a very strong, that's, 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 oh my God, black that's, man, that's right? Like your dad, you imagine if somebody said that, that's a, that's a movie scene. <laughs> <laughs> that's a scene from a movie. I don't know what the movie's called, but that's a, that's a scene from a movie. T.A., sure. my dad was staring at his kneecaps so hard like he wanted to jack his kneecaps up. Because my dad's knee, my dad's head was around his waist, you know what I mean? So How my, tall is that? My dad's like 6'1", so my dad was just like, it's fancy. And he's like towering Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Right? So it was like, you know, and he gave him the bear hug. My ninja gave him like the bear hug and like really brought him in on it. It was, so that was, that was my draft experience, you know what I mean? That oh was my, my that was that was the draft to me. Did you okay? So you went second. Do you end up doing? Yeah. Did you do end up doing all this? Uh, not green room. What is that called? Uh, oh yeah, the green room. Green room. Okay. Oh, yeah. Lottery things. You 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 know. Oh, was this. No, I thought. Are you stressed? Did you know or? I I so I found out the night before, my agent had called me because uh, Golden State was trying to move up in the draft. Yeah, they were trying to move up in the draft, and I thought I was going to go to the Bay, so I was Ooh. a little bit excited about it. Um, and the Bay had Gilbert Arenas at the time too, which would have been, cause Gil and I went at it against each other in college. We played each other in the championship game. He played for Arizona, I played for Duke, we beat Arizona. him. Okay. So like Gil and I had, Gil and I had a little bit of a thing. Like I rock with Gil, I really like Gil. Yes. But if I saw Gil in the court, I would try to give Gil 50. Like, and I, I feel like Gil would, Agent first Zero would be the same for him. First, first of all, you know. <laughs> It's let, natural. Let, let this man don't see this podcast. He go, you know, he gonna say like, "Hey, that's what?" That's only Gil though. <laughs> Ain't no chill Gil. Like that's Gil. That's that's who Gilbert is. You know what I mean? But I, I love that way, about Gil. By the way, you see what he's done with this uh, yeah, in the podcast. It's, it's amazing. Huh? He's done a great, great, great like aspect of like, you know, talking his shit and. You can, you can beep that if you want to beep it, beep it. Uh, doing his own thing, and at the same time, bringing guys together because you know he's created something in business to have other guys in it. And I think one of the shows he has, uh, Baron Jennings as well, 
which is, you know, he's like BJ. Milwaukee, bro. Milwaukee, what? yeah, come on, man. Come on, this guy's out here. I've known Brandon Milwaukee. since he was like 16. I love Milwaukee. Brandon. Milwaukee, and I think like he, now he's, I think he's added to the, to Shannon's roster, right? The yeah. Shannon, which is, that, this he's is on the volume, yeah, with they, So, so I think, bro, he's been doing amazing. And I, and, and, and I think one of uh, the things to think about is that, you know, everybody's different. Like, even though like, every, all of them are entertaining, they're different. They're all different. They're different, no? I'm, I'm, I'm all I'm, different. Yeah, when it comes to, because we were talking about media and stuff like that. Yeah. So it's, it's kind of a different vibe. But Gil, Gil's on. like the epitome of the locker room, though. Like, that's who Gil is. Like, you okay. know, we were talking before, it's like, yo, like, when you're in the locker room with your boys, you be saying some wild things sometimes, but you know it stays in the locker room, right? Yeah. Gil be saying that stuff on air, which is kind of like, it's sometimes, it's refreshing for me. But also, you know, a lot of dudes be feeling different ways about it sometimes. I mean, you always you always feel a different way if uh, if, uh, if you're offended by it. But if you're not offended by it, just you know, it, whatever. It, 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 no, to a certain degree, it is it is what it is because it's entertainment. It's uh, if you li clearly see that it's entertainment. Now, if somebody is uh, taking personally slandered and is, and he's like personally he's attacking you. It. You know, not your work, but your family or anything like that. That's different. I can't. That's okay. It's nothing you can. It, that is that is a thin line between talking about sports and you know, kind of yeah, like yeah. whatever you do on the court and whatever you do outside the court. That's that is that is yeah. a line between that. But 